going to do a Q&A video. I posted on Twitter that I was thinking about doing one and asked if anyone had any questions. And some of you came through. Like, some of you asked me a lot of questions, too. Like, I'm like, oh, God. It's a lot. <laughs> so we're going to get into this. Thank you, everyone that sent me questions. We're going to do another one pretty soon. Like, I really enjoy doing these. Like, it's it's fun. It's It's fun and, like, less stressful and less editing usually so <laughs> that's fun i like those we're gonna, we're gonna, we like easy videos so uh we're gonna get this started <laughs> and this may look familiar this i'm batching content yeah mm -hmm, that's happening um we're gonna start off with jesse she asked why are you so sweet and kind <laughs> just how I was raised boo boo I just I'm just I'm just me I don't know how else to be but you know people just need to raise their kids better I think that's just the, you know, I was spanked as a child that's that's why I'm sweet and kind I was spanked I like mm, you never had to pick your own switch you escaped childhood marvelously I don't know I don't know how you did that um, next person was Courtney and she asked me a bunch of them. So we're just going to run through. Uh, she asked, what are your dreams? Um, I don't really know. Like, I mean, I would love, I would love to like make this like an actual career, but like, that's so like far in the distance. I'm so far away from that. So, I mean, that would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. Um, I also would love to, uh, marry someone with money. That would be nice. So, like, I could just, you know, focus on this and he could pay the bills and, like, you know, that'd be great. That'd be great. But, no, I'm a working girl. She does it on her own, you know? Um, what was your first small biz purchase? That was Dear Katie Brown. It was the Haunted palette, which is their, like, fall palette, and I think they're bringing that out soon or it's out now something like that i saw a picture of it in an email so like it's 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 around i'll show you guys this is the dear katie brown haunted palette and this is why i had to buy it <laughs> how stunning are those glitters they're so stunning but they only bring it out during the fall so that very much that um then our next question was what do you think we need to know in the beauty community i think we need to know how to be kinder to each other and to ourselves like i just there's a lot of cattiness a lot of unnecessary drama and just you know be happy for people like when they get attention from a brand when they get on pr like be happy for them. Like, one of us made it. Like, just uplift them, you know? Like, our shot will come. But, like, I don't know. People get bitter. People get so bitter. Like, I just, uh, mm, no. I'm happy when someone makes it. I'm like, yay, congratulations. Like, even if, like, I don't follow them, if they show up in my timeline and they're like, I just got added to the Morphe family. And I'm like, congratulations. That's awesome. Like, I don't understand that mindset of, like, how did you get on it? You know, like, I just, n that's ugly. That's not, n no, could never be me. Could never be me. Any hidden talents? Um, I, I haven't done this in years, so, like, I don't know if it's still a talent, but I was in drumline, uh, from, like, sixth grade to a year in college, so that was a lot of drumming. A lot. <laughs> Um, I used to be able to draw. I haven't really drawn in a long time though, but I was like in art club and, um, uh, I could kind of draw. <laughs> um, I don't really know of any other talents really. I'm like, I can do like some crafting stuff, which Christmas is coming up and I'm probably going to have some like crafting videos, like how to make those like big bows and stuff. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I'm all that talented, really, but, like, that's some things you guys may not know about me. It's like I was I was in Drumline for a very long time. It never leaves you, either. Being a band geek does not leave you. 
I can go to parades and see people not lined up right and I want to yell guide so bad and I'm like it's not my parade they're not my people I don't need to do that no Lana but like I, I want to and like if they have to stop in front of me and they're like supposed to be at attention and they're not at attention like I have to bite my tongue to not be like you're still at attention like it just it doesn't leave you it does not leave you anyone who's in band right now just know when you're in your 30s I kind of aged myself there a little bit I don't like to say my age but yeah you know, mm-hmm yeah I'm old and um, I still do it I still do that like it still happens it does not leave you <laughs> um Brianna wanted to know what palette or makeup release are you looking forward to most I don't know honestly like nothing's really been catching my eye lately um I know Spellbound Beauty is going to be coming out with a new palette soon, so I'm probably going to buy that because, like, I have all the others and I'm obsessed. But, um, nothing else has really been catching my eye lately. Like, um, this is the Raw Beauty Christie palette. That was, like, the last thing that really caught my eye. Nothing else has really been doing it for me. I don't know. Like, I have a lot of makeup, guys. <laughs> like, a lot. I'm going to do a palette tour eventually. Like, I just have to find everything first because, like, I have stuff I haven't even used yet. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. But, um, yeah, when you have a lot of makeup, like, it takes something really special to catch your eye. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just kind of sitting back and watching all these releases coming along. And I'm like, oh, yawn. Like, nothing's really exciting me. I don't know. It's going to be a drab Christmas, guys. Um, her next question, what's on your makeup slash Christmas list? Um, I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm, like, the worst person to shop for because, like, if I like something, I buy it, <laughs> which is why, like, if you guys follow me on Twitter, like, I actually tweeted out, I was like, okay. I can't have any more treat yourself moments. Like, I, I gotta have gift ideas for friends and family, guys. Um, I'm really, really bad to shop. Like, I usually just have people give me gift cards, which sounds so impersonal, and, like, people hate that, I know. But, like, it's honestly the best for me because, like, I know what I like, and sometimes, like, around Christmas time, like, there's nothing that I really want. And then, like, later, there might be something that I want, and I can use a gift card for that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just, like, I don't know. I'm really hard to shop for. Like, I really am. Because, like, I just buy stuff. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. Um, what part of your makeup routine was most difficult to master? Blending, I think, is probably, like, I mean, like, I can blend, but it's, like, having the patience to, like, fully blend everything out, really. Because, like, it's kind of just you do in a rush, you know, and like, just, ugh. so yeah, that was probably like the hardest, um, maybe, maybe learning how to do a halo eye properly, I don't know, something like that, and her next question was, what makeup trend slash technique is something you won't try, um, soap brows, I think they look weird, like, Y'all can hate me if you want, but, like, I've got big old thick brows, and, like, I just, like, can you imagine, like, these, like, like, I just, no, just no, no, I don't like it, I don't like it, I think they look weird, not my thing, and also, like, the whole freckles thing, the, like, putting fake freckles thing, like, I have freckles, and I was teased for them as a child, like, the fact that that is a beauty tin right now is just like, ma'am, like, I just, no, I'm not here for that. I'm just not. <laughs> like, stop it. Stop trying to make freckles cool, okay? I resent that. Um, our next questioner is Shadow Lynn. She said, what makeup trend has been your favorite so far? Um, honestly, I'm kind of glad that, like, big thick brows are back because that's what I naturally have and um I like that everyone's like filling theirs in to look really thick and full like mine are because I'm like hey, I just have to do like a little bit like underneath like I'm good she's good um also I'm kind of enjoying the whole like putting like a little bit of blush on the end of the nose thing like it's super cute and I like really like that aesthetic so that's fun 
but uh i don't know um uh, like cosmetics wise i'm really really digging the whole lash liner thing uh the lash glue liner um i know everyone's been coming out with them lately and like that's actually what i've got my lashes on with now which this one's kind of coming up a little bit but i like had a fight with it to get it on so that's just that but that's really fun and like duochromes i really really enjoy duochromes like <laughs> i got some on my lips right now but um yeah that i really like those trends and that is all the questions that we have i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh stay tuned we'll have more coming up love you bye